Is he gonna be a guest? Uh, the game just launched in 2011. Bodybuilding influencer Aziz has not returned back from vacation to his family's home. He had told his family he would be back home on this day. His family became worried. They text and called him, but nobody answered. Time slowly kicks away as three days pass by. Aziz is still nowhere to be seen. All of a sudden, Aziz's family hears a knock on the door. They look through the people and expect to see Aziz on the other side, but it's not him. It's the police. Aziz's family cautiously opens the door. The police officer is holding the paper with Aziz. Okay, that's a very aggressive way to throw the video. I mean, it got me hooked, I ain't gonna lie, but like, damn. What, 20, 33 seconds in, motherfuckers is just. What's his name on it? Breeze, it's Aziz's no. death certificate. What? Officer is holding a paper with Aziz's name on it. It's Aziz's death certificate. Before Aziz was known by the world as Ziz, he was known by his school as a nerd. He was the captain of his school's chess club and finished at the top of his grade. He always wanted to start training in the gym, but he lacked the motivation to do so. In 11th grade, he chose the gym as his sport for PE and people made fun of him. They didn't think Ziz had the potential to grow in size. After all, Ziz stood at a height of 6'1 and 145 pounds. He was literally a walking stick. Ziz would always have his life. Walking sticks kind of would be crazy, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Six foot one, 140, 145, that is really fucking light for six foot one, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Literally a walking stick. Ziz would always have his lunch money stolen from him. He even had chocolate. All right, bro, now you're just, now you're just making shit up, bro. Bro, who's, who steals lunch money, bro? Like, that, that's such a, that's such a, that's literally just like a, a not a, like a high school movie trope, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you got your lunch money stolen in high school, you kind of, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say you, you know, I was, I was like, I ain't gonna say you deserved it, but like, but like what? Nobody stole lunch money, at least not the high school I went to. That's just thrown at him. When the holidays like nobody like slammed you into, nobody slammed you into the freaking, to the wall and then be like, yo, give me your, give me your lunch money. Yo, yo, yo give me your lunch money, bro. Nah, that is, that isn't, that, that doesn't, I refuse to believe that happens, bro. There's no way. I refuse to believe that happens. Came around, he went clubbing every weekend. Ziz noticed that whenever a jack dude walked by, they had a presence a lot greater than that of a normal person. The guys respected them, and the girls are all over them. And really, okay, that's 50 50. Guys respect that's that's pretty much you know, what I'm saying unspoken. You know, what I'm saying when you see a big dude, he's just like, you know, what I'm saying he's like, okay, you know, it's tight shit, tight shit, tight shit, tight shit, and all the girls are all over them. So, yeah, I don't know about that, you know, what I'm saying. 50-50. <laughs> Depends on the guy. <laughs> Depends on the guy. To cope with his insecurities, Ziz spent all of his time playing video games in his bedroom. He wouldn't even walk outside by himself because he was too insecure with his body. His brother had been training at the gym for a year. Ziz was impressed by the progress that his brother was making and was inspired to do the same. So after graduating high school, Ziz sold his World of Warcraft account for $500. $500 was enough to get one year of gym membership at Fitness First in Sydney, Australia. Ziz signed up for the gym, but he didn't know his first day at the gym would be a failure. Ziz decided to work out his chest and walked over to the bench press. He put on 30 kilos or 66 pounds and planned to do 15 reps. At first, the set went well, but then on the 15th rep, he couldn't finish it. The biggest guy in the gym walked over and picked up the bar with one hand. Ziz was extremely embarrassed. There's no way this happened. Is this a real story? Fifteen rows couldn't get a, a last rep. It was stuck on the beginning. My guy, and the biggest guy in the gym ran over and helped me get up using one hand. Damn, embarrassing. The bar with one hand. Ziz was extremely embarrassed, but despite his failure, Ziz was determined to get stronger. He put on his favorite music and trained so hard that time felt like it was nothing. His mindset went from I hate leg day to I love leg day and I can't wait to squat. After one year of training, Ziz gained a noticeable amount of size. He started going to parties with his brother and people began to respect him. But even though Ziz made tons of progress already, he wanted to become bigger and needed to do it fast. 
He posted on bodybuilding.com asking, here's a pic of me on the left and my aim in exactly one year. Is that too much of a difference to get in one year? Ziz was willing to do anything he could to no, get bigger and he knew steroids could do the trick. So he started a three month cycle of testosterone. Bro, you just started working out, you're already using steroids? Like, what? Bro, at least, like, give it, like, two, give it, like, five years before you start injecting steroids to your body, bro. He ate like a horse and put on tons of weight. Even his brother was shocked as Ziz began putting on more weight than him. After a two month break from steroids, he started using Diva and Deca, which he used for the next three months. Ziz began posting videos on social media with the goal of inspiring others to transform their bodies like him. But as he started gaining fame on social media, people criticized him for the weak parts in his physique. He felt a growing pressure to become the most aesthetic person. And the answer to that was more PEDs. So Ziz Yikes. moved on to the hardest PEDs on the market, Tren and Sustanon. Tren made Ziz's confidence go through the roof. He didn't care what people thought about him at all. Ziz, you are a toss bucket. I don't like your videos, you're ugly. With his new confidence, Ziz made videos playing into the gym bro stereotype as a joke. His videos suddenly began spreading around social media like wildfire. He popularized phrases like, you Myron brah, come at me brah. <laughs> Ziz was playing into the persona of the jack dude at parties that he was always jealous of, and he took that persona to the extreme. Today, some religious Jesus nerds came to my door wanting to tell me about the power of Christ. I was in my underwear because it was hot and told them to look at how striated my quads were. They looked weirded out, but deep down, I could tell they were Myron. I then did a lat spread and closed the door and ate some steak. <laughs> I then did a lat spread and closed the door. <laughs> they were Myron. How was your day? Even though Ziz was just a gym bro persona that he was playing into, nah, people took this guy the Ziz persona jokes. seriously. While most people have caught on, I still think it's hilarious how many still think my videos are me being serious and not realizing it's taking the piss for the lols. Seriously, I could make a video rocking up to the club with nothing but short shorts and sunnies. And the responses will still be, wow, what a douche. Does he love himself that much? He thinks he can get in like that. What a show off loser. Lamau. With his new fame, Ziz party harder and harder. He did more party substances, more steroids, no, and made more no trolling mas. videos. Everyone respected that's a crazy, him. That's a crazy photo to get in the video, bro. Be like, yo. More party substances, more steroids, and hey, yo. made more trolling videos. Everyone respected him because he never took life too seriously. With his jacked friends and brother, he started his own crew that he named the Aesthetics Crew. His brother also got the nickname Chespra after he made a video saying, You admiring my Chespra? By the age of 22, <laughs> after just my chest, years at the gym, Ziz had an extremely aesthetic physique. At a height of 6 foot 1 and 210 pounds shredded, Ziz could be recognized from afar. Despite his size though, Ziz was one of the friendliest people ever. He always stood up for skinny teenagers who wanted to gain muscle like him. Instead of intimidating wanna, people with his muscle, he inspired chest, skinny bro. teens to do the same. Ziz was gaining so much popularity that he made appearances at events. He made his own protein powder and clothing and even appeared on a TV show called The National Road Trip. Gymshark literally relied on Ziz to bring their clothing to fame. But behind the fame and confidence shown on screen, Ziz was still the same insecure person that he was before his transformation. And the fame was becoming too much for him. Whenever Ziz went to the festivals, hundreds of people would ask to take a picture with him. At first, Ziz thought the attention was amazing. He responded to the fame by continuing to troll. When he got DMs from women on Facebook, he played into the Ziz character. In one DM, he said, I appreciate your offer, but no thanks. You are a 7 out of 10 at best. And because I am a lot more beautiful than you physically, I do not think there is a reason why I must undertake a chat with you. Yo, I gotta be the rest of that. What the fuck? <laughs> More beautiful than you physically, I did not have to undertake to chat with you. <laughs> I only do a song with people that were pretty gorgeous as wise friends. <laughs> Bro, this thing is. <laughs> I'm afraid you would bring our children down two points and judge by our peers. <laughs> Yo, physically, I do not. No fucking way. There's a reason why I must undertake a chat with you. 
While Ziz loved the fame at first, he realized over time that his fame was eating away at his normal life. I'm not joking how many photos I get asked for. At a festival, it's up to 400 to 500 sometimes. First few months was like, whoa, this is awesome. Other times you can't be effed. And I feel sorry for my mates who have to put up with it now when they are out with me. At the end of the day, Ziz was still the same insecure person who liked playing video games. With over 400,000 followers on Facebook, his fame just made everything worse. Facebook? He began reverting back to his normal self. Every time he went outside, he always needed to bring some friends around because of the anxiety he had. He used to be fucking no scared just to go out in public, bro, that he needed to bring two or three of his mates everywhere he went just because of the anxiety and the paranoia that he used to get from going out. Since he even started skipping festivals to play video games instead. Two events slash festivals on yesterday, but I stayed home and played new Super Mario Bros and Wii and got up to World 6. This That's crazy. on yesterday, but I stayed home and played new Super Mario Bros and Wii and got up to World 6. This began feeling jealous of normal people that live normal lives. If I can be serious for a minute, many people say they are jealous of me, but I am also jealous of most people, for they get to see me in 360 degrees real life angles. And since I control myself, I will never know what that would truly be like. The problem was that Ziz wasn't actually Ziz. The whole time, he was just trolling and so many people didn't realize that. He wanted to inspire other skinny teens. But instead, all people took away was the Ziz character. What fame? Getting back to call out, come at me, bro, and you- You're getting a motorcycle to take away from your depression? Uh, bad idea number 10,721. Myron, every time I tried to go no shopping, mas. if anything, I would ask him Yo, to ben, take man. down the original video now if he can, please. Aziz was done playing as- Just pray, bro. Just meditate and pray, bro. Ziz, he wanted to stop partying, stop meeting fake people, and make some positive change for once. He decided that it was time to retire as Ziz. I am sad to announce that I am officially finished with training, festivals, and being Ziz. I want to move my life in other directions. And I find myself far too involved in a lifestyle with no genuine substance. Meeting Do you far too many fake people slash girls who if I didn't look the way I did, would have never given me the time of day. Time to get back to studying. There's more to life than partying. Ziz needed to take a break from all the chaos. So before making a switch in his character, he decided to go to Thailand and take a break to think about his future. Thailand, child. It never fails, bro. Thailand's always a great place to get away, you know what I'm saying? Always been a great place to get away. How that bad thing? I'm... I mean, do you do you know anything about motorcycles? Do you like do you know how to take care of a motorcycle? Do you know how to like, you know what I'm saying? Do you know how to ride? Diz's trip to Thailand was supposed to be a pretty short one, but as his vacation was wrapping up, he texted his brother that he would be extending his vacation. Ziz now planned to come back on August 5th, 2012. <laughs> on Welcome August back. 8th, a police officer informed Ziz's Welcome family back. that at the age of 22, Ziz died of heart failure in a sauna. Ziz had a heart defect, and its onset had been sped up through party substances and steroids. Chesbrot and the rest of the aesthetics crew were left heartbroken. Chesbrot fell into depression and went from 83 to 70 kilos in just six months. But after so much time of swallowing the pain, Chesbrot picked himself back up because he needed to spread the Ziz legacy. On March 23rd, 2012, yeah. Chesbrot posted a video titled Ziz The Legacy. The video, which now has almost 18 million views, has the goal of spreading the legend of a Ziz. Although Aziz has passed away, he's still alive with us today. His legacy continues to inspire Bimbros today to take control of their life. His everlasting message is to forget what everyone else thinks about you and chase your dream. Tyson, do your message. Do your message. <laughs>